and we are on. We say all praises be to the creator, all power to his people. In the name of Yahshua, the black revolutionary Messiah, I greet you, my brothers and sisters, in the spirit of truth and the words of peace. Shalom Aleichem. Giving a special salute to the black messiahs. Our motto is stop waiting for a savior and be one. Stop waiting for a savior and be one. Talking about the performance of Hot Girl, Made the style on Saturday Night Live last night. And her message, protect black women. I applaud that 100%. We have to protect black women from the enemy in all forms. However, there's always a however. However, what we have to realize is that violence against black women is just one form of attack. That's just one form. A major weapon that they have used against us is the oversexualization of black women the objectification of black women and the destruction of a positive self-image in black girls. So despite the stance that Meg the Stallion took last night, which should be applauded, how does her music, her content, her image contribute to the other attacks on black women and who is ultimately controlling this image because you know the major record labels are not controlled by black people when they put your image out there to millions of people across the planet it's not black people in charge of that image not at all not at all but historically, the exploitation of black women goes back since white people first came on the continent and saw black women. It goes back that far. I suggest everybody study this book, Medical Apartheid, by Harriet, Dr. Harriet A. Washington. She has an interesting chapter on Sarah or Sartke Bartman. Some people say Sarah Bartman, but Sartke Bartman. She was an African sister who was exploited in the 18th century because of her big behind. Let's just keep it real. They paraded the sister made her a circus freak because of her behind. Now, some people have even said they prostituted her out because of her body. Megan, are they doing the same thing to you, sister? Are they doing the same thing to you? We have to be clear on that because it's bigger than just violent attacks. Now, I agree with the sister. I agree with the sister. There are Uncle Toms and sellouts in the black community. Read this book. The American Directory of Certified Uncle Toms is full of examples of people who have sold our people out, but also those in the entertainment industry, especially hip hop, have sold our people out too. Yeah. They put that image before the world that we are savages. So when you come with a song called Savage, but also say, protect black women, that's hip hop hypocrisy. That's hip hop hypocrisy. 
Now, I know I come from the era of strong black women in hip hop. Sister Soldier, Queen Latifah, the Sisters of X Clan, Isis, Queen Mother Rage, Yo Yo from the West Coast, Intelligent Black Woman's Committee. So maybe I'm a little biased. Maybe I'm a little too stuck in the past, but there was a time where black women had a social message, had a social positive political message. Megan could do the same thing or should do the same thing in this time we're living in. I'm going to close with this book. The ISIS Papers by Dr. Frances Chris Wilson. In her book, The ISIS Papers, in the chapter called Black Women Moving Towards the 21st Century, she says she asked the question, what must we as Black women do? Dr. Wilson says, it is my conviction that the African proverb the hand that rocks the cradle rules the nation and its destiny is true. Black women are the mothers and thus the first teachers of black females and black males alike. With increased consciousness of their importance as the first teachers, black women can determine whether future generations of black children will be warriors or if they will continue to be slaves living in their in, their, in a highly refined state of psychological oppression, which is no less a death than direct physical destruction. So my question is, Meg Thee Stallion says protect black women, but who's gonna protect black girls? from Meg the Stallion. As I leave you with the Black Messiah motto, stop waiting for a savior and be one. Shalom.